Hello, in this video we are working on Khan Academy trigonometry. We're looking at graphs of trig functions. And the first thing we're going to look at is the midline of a sinusoidal function from a graph. All right, so we'll look at four examples so you can make sense of this. Go back. All right, so below is the graph of a trig function. Its maximum point is at negative pi over three. Let me just underline this for myself. That helps me two. So that's at this point right here. And an amplitude of 1.8. They want us to find the equation for the midline. That's cut off down here. Now the midline is, is quite literal. It's a line that is at the very middle of your sine or cosine function. And the, for the parent function, it's at zero, right? So typically, if you just have a sine or cosine wave, the midline is right down here at zero, right? That's where the, that's where the middle of the function is. But here, um, the parent function has an amplitude of one with a midline at zero. Here, you can see that the, the function is reaching a height of two, all right? And that has to do with the amplitude of the function being changed from one to, some, to in this case, 1.8. And you can see down here, it's reaching some, you can't tell exactly what it is right away, but some decimal number. So we want to find what's exactly in the middle. How do we do that? Take the amplitude, in this case, 1.8, and subtract it from one of your maximum points here. So they're saying the amplitude, which is this distance right here, call this the absolute value of A. A is the amplitude. The distance from the midline to the peak or the distance from the midline to the valley point down here. So all we have to do is take our height of 2 and subtract 1.8. That's it. And that's at 0 0.2. So the equation for this line is that y equals 0 0.2. And if you had to find the minimum point here, again, you take another 1.8 away right from 0.2 and I bring you to negative 1.6 right 0.2 essentially minus 1.8 is uh, negative 1.6 that's what these questions are like let's try another one we have another graph and the idea is you can get any kind of graph you're given some kind of information about a peak and I call them valleys the max and min points and they're saying here that the max is at negative pi 7.7 .7, and the min is at negative pi over th pi over three, negative 6.7. These are those two points. And they want to know what's the midline. So the midline, again, it's literally in the middle. And um, in this case, when you are given a max and a min, perhaps the easiest way to deal with this problem is to average them. So what you would do, you take your highest point, add it to your lowest point, and, or do the opposite order, and divide them by two. Right, you're averaging the two heights. The average of the two heights will get you literally the middle here. And if you add them up and divide by two, maybe take a moment and try that, you get 0 0.5. So the height of this line is at y equals 0 0.5. And that's the equation for the midline of this function. Okay, next one. So here we have a graph, everything's in negatives, right? All the heights are negative. And we're told the minimum point is at negative 2, negative 5.2. You can see that point right here. And the amplitude is 1.1. So in the first example, we started off at a maximum point and subtracted the amplitude to find the midline. But now we're at a minimum point, so we're going to add the amplitude to work up, up towards the midline. It's going to be about here. And I know that because I, well, I saw the problem already, but uh, also we can see it. If we take negative 5.2 and we add our amplitude, that's going to get us negative 4.1. That's the equation for our midline here. And if you had to find a maximum point, you add another 1.1 above that. So finally, we'll look at this one. And we're told that in this graph, the minimum is at pi, negative 11. OK, I see that there. It has a maximum at 6 pi over 5, or 6 fifth pi and negative 3.7 here. What is the equation for the midline? So it doesn't matter if your sinusoidal function is entirely negative in height or positive. What you're going to do to find your midline if you're given a max and a min point, 
right? So say it's about, well, I, I should use my line tool. It's about there. Um, it's just add the heights of the two points and average them. So right here, we take this height, negative 3.7, and we add it to this height, negative 11, and divide that by two. And you're going to get negative 7.35, which is the height of our midline here. It's the average of the peaks, of the, the peak and the valley here, max and min. All right, hope that helped.